C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 4 titled math magic book 4 chapter number 9 halves and quarters part 1 page number 94 mintu cat and motu cat were friends once they stole a chapati from malini's kitchen i will take it said mintu no i will take it said motu while they were quarreling there came tittu monkey hi what is the problem why are you quarreling he asked we don't know how to divide this chapati between us the cat said okay don't worry i will divide the chapati equally for both of you he said Clever Tittu divided the chapati like this. There is a diagram given here of Mintu and Motu cat along with Tittu monkey. He has divided the chapati in two halves and giving one half to each of the cat. After dividing the chapati, one half is smaller and one half is bigger. These are not equal. the left part is bigger mintu and motu said ah uh, no problem i will make it equal tittu said he then cut a part of the left piece and ate it in the next diagram tittu monkey is asking mintu and motu cat now is it equal Oh, now the right part is bigger. The cat cried. "I am sorry," said Tetu. He cut a part from the bigger piece and ate it. When there was only a small piece remaining, he said, "This is my share for the work." Tetu then quickly ate the last piece and climbed the tree. Page number ninety-five. Half, half. If the cat asks you to divide the chapati equally, how will you divide it? If you do not cheat like Tito, the cat will have these parts. There is a diagram given here on page number ninety-five. This diagram has Mintu and Motu cat, and the chapati has been divided. equally in two equal halves half of half if two more cats come for food how will you divide one chapati equally for four cats there is a diagram given here on page number 95 in this picture there are four cats there is also a girl who is dividing the half chapati into another two halves that is half of half now the cats are saying each of us got a quarter of the chapati you are good divider <laughs> half of many pieces rani got a chocolate she divided it equally and gave half to her friend reena here on page number 95 there is a diagram of a chocolate divided into 6 equal parts circle the portion that reena got page 96 how many pieces of chocolate are there dash how many pieces were left with rani dash there is a diagram given on page number 96 where rani is eating the chocolate rani says Ha, half a chocolate is as tasty as a whole chocolate many shapes from a half sheet take a piece of paper cut the sheet into two equal triangles so that each triangle is equal to half of the sheet shade the two triangles with different colors draw different shapes using these triangles 
one such shape is given here. There is a big blue box given here on page number 96. In this blue box, at one side, two triangles of different shapes have been given. On one corner of the blue box, a shape has been made using two triangles. You have to make other such shapes using two triangles. Many ways to cut into half. Here on page number 96, there is a diagram of a boy. He says, I have made a rectangle into two equal parts like this. Each part is half. We write it as 1 upon 2 or 1 by 2. It means one part out of two. You can check if these parts are equal. Try keeping one on top of the other. In this diagram, a sheet has been cut into half. Now, both the halves are kept on each other to check whether the cutting has been done properly or not and to check if both the halves are equal. Page number 97 In how many different ways can you cut a rectangle into half? Draw five different ways. To draw five different ways, there are five different boxes given. You have to draw five different ways to draw a rectangle. Can you check if they are equal? Many ways to make quarters. On the same page number 97, there is a drawing of a boy. He says, I make four parts like this. Each part is a quarter and I can write it as one by four. It means one part out of four. In how many different ways can you cut a rectangle into four equal parts? Draw five different ways. Next to the question, there are five different boxes given of the same size. You have to draw five different ways in them. Can you check if they are equal? Page number 98 Cutting the cake Rajni's father brought a cake. She divided the cake into four equal parts. For herself, her brother Raju, her father and her mother. On page number 98, there is a picture given of cake cutting ceremony. This is the family of Rajni, where Rajni, her father, mother and brother are sitting. And Rajni is cutting a cake and trying to divide it into four equal parts. Colour each chair with different colours. How much does each get? Dash. Mother gave her share of cake to Rajni. Now colour the total part that Rajni will get. Out of four parts, Rajni will get dash parts, which is equal to half of the cake. So, she can write it as dash upon 4 or 1 by 2. There are diagrams of cakes given here along with each of these statements and questions. These cakes have been divided into four equal parts. You have to color these cakes as per the question. Before Rajni's mother gave her share to Rajni, she had only one half of half the cake which was one-fourth of the total cake. Colour the share Raju got. How much of the cake do Rajni and Raju together get? Colour their total share. Altogether, they get three parts out of four. So, we can write it as three by four or three-fourth. Page number 99 Greedy Kundu Kundu is a greedy man. Whenever he goes to the market, he wants to get more and more but doesn't want to spend much money. One day he wants to eat pumpkin halwa, that is sweet dish. He tries to buy a big pumpkin with only rupees 10. 
he asks the first pumpkin seller the price of a big pumpkin. First pumpkin seller, one fourth of this pumpkin is for rupees ten. This full pumpkin will cost rupees dash. Then Kundu says, "Eh, for rupees ten, you should give me one half of this pumpkin." The first pumpkin seller replies. Then you go to the next seller. He can give you half of such a big pumpkin for rupees ten. I keep only good quality pumpkins. There is a diagram given here on page number ninety nine, in which Kundu is talking to buy pumpkins from the pumpkin seller. He is pointing to one half of the pumpkin. Which he wants to get for rupees ten. Kundu walks to the next seller and looks for a pumpkin of the same size. Kundu says, "How much of this pumpkin will I get for rupees ten?" Second pumpkin seller says, "Half." This full pumpkin will cost rupees dash. Page number one hundred. Kundu says, "Eh, why not give me three fourth?" Second pumpkin seller says, "Run away! Go get your pumpkin from that man. He sells such bad vegetables that he will even give you a full pumpkin of this size for rupees ten." The greedy Kundu walks to the next pumpkin seller. He looks at a pumpkin of the same size and asks him, mm, "Will you give me this big one for rupees ten?" Third pumpkin seller says, "Why don't you climb the roof of that house? You can get pumpkins free from the plant itself." Kundu is very happy. He climbs the roof of that house, and then. A diagram has been given here on page number one hundred. In this diagram, Kundu is given while he is trying to go on the roof and get a pumpkin from the plant. Kundu falls down while trying to get the vegetable for free. Using a price list, there is a price list given here on page number one hundred. This price list has been divided in two parts. In the first part, different items have been written. In the second part, the prices of those items per kg, that is per kilogram, is written. The first item is tomato. Price in rupees per kg for tomato is rupees eight. Prices for potato is twelve. Price of onion is rupees ten. For carrot is rupees sixteen. For onions it is rupees ten. For carrot it is sixteen rupees. And for pumpkin it is rupees four per kg. Near the price list, a diagram of a lady is also given. The lady is looking at the price list. She has two. Ten rupee notes in one of her hands, and in the other hand, she has a list of things which she has to buy from the market. In that list, it is written: a uh, potato half kg, pumpkin two kg, carrot one fourth kg. A. How much does half kg of tomatoes cost? B. Which costs more, half kg of onions or one fourth kg of carrots? C. What is the price of three fourths kg of potatoes? D. Kirti is going for shopping. She has only rupees twenty with her. Can she buy all the things in her shopping list? E. Make two questions yourself from the price list. Two blank spaces have been given here to write your answer. You were just listening to chapter number nine, titled 
Halves and Quarters Part 1 With it, Chapter Number 9 of Total 14 Chapters ends here. Voiceover Artists Shalini Singh and Vebhav Srivastav Sound Recordists Butelang Lingdo and Vikas Sangwan Assistance in Production by Shanu Muksim and Meenakshi Kukreti Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary This book was presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India